Preston Bolter has been infringing upon the Comic Skate trademark for at least a year and probably longer as Ethan Van Skyver threatens a massive lawsuit. Hello, this is Robert Romano with ComicSkate.org. Hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to talk about the Comic Skate trademark again. I think things are getting really interesting with the Comic Skate trademark right now as the battle is joined. Ethan has successfully acquired the Comic Skate trademark from Antonio Malpica. Antonio had applied for this back in 2018. And then in 2020, Preston Poulter applied for it. It looked like Critias might lose it, but then he revived it. And then he got it fully registered on July 14th. And then Preston tried to get it canceled. Ethan joined the lawsuit. He acquired the trademark. And now those proceedings are going to commence. This is going to trial um, at the trademark, a trial and appeal board. And also, Ethan Van Skyver is threatening a more bigger lawsuit. I think that this is something for Preston to probably pay close attention to. This was on Ethan Van Skyver's live stream, the Fight for the Comic Skate trademark, on July 11th, earlier this morning. Take a listen to this. Fo Chung says, EVS, you've become the godfather of Comic Skate. Uh, JDC says, I hope you win the trademark. In general, how are you able to secure the trademark? where in the past SJWs so tried the same but failed. Um, uh, you have to prove, here's the thing, uh, you have to prove that you have claim to it in some way. You have to prove that you've used it in commerce already uh, and that you are the first to use it in commerce uh, and all of those things. If you can't prove that, that's, that's how they prevent bad actors from, like I can't just go, I'm trademarking Starlight Cats because fuck Shane. Mm. They don't let you do that. You know, they don't they don't actually let you do that. You actually have to prove. And Shane would just pop up and go, asshole, uh, I uh, have been making money on that already. That's mine. And you know that. Uh, and now I'm going to sue you for fraud, uh, which is the other possibility. And so that, I think, is a not so uh, tacit and implied threat by Ethan to uh, take this to the next level. If Preston Bolter continues to try to infringe upon the comic skate trademark which he's been doing for at least a year now, uh, looking at this. This thing got fully registered on July 14, 2020. And so everything that Preston did after that to sell books with Comic Skate written on them, that was trademark infringement. How could it not be trademark infringement? I actually was able to get a copy of White Lily number 5. Uh, this is uh, supposedly the first book that Preston put out with the Comic Skate, his version, the the fake trademark on it and you can see it right there um that uh, on the pocket jacks uh poker chip there it says comic skate and then it's a little tm there uh, and there's other books that you can get from his uh store right now as well guinevere and the divine factory issue three of five there it is comic skate tm uh, there it is a little larger you can see comic skate tm there uh, also, Guinevere, number one, Comic State TM. This is all infringement. This is after July 14th, certainly. Before that, you know, he might be able to make an argument, perhaps, that, oh, I was applying for it and I didn't intend to do an infringement. But after the trademark, U.S. Patent and Trademark Office issues of trademark, which they've done since July 14th, he can't be going around selling that stuff. So I think that that's definitely massive infringement, and he should pay close attention to what Ethan is saying here. Right now, he's before the trial, trademark, and appeal board, but I don't think there's anything to stop it from going further. Um, and certainly, uh, as as far as this, uh, you know, this uh, eBay store is concerned, you know, I mean, uh, you know, maybe Ethan should look at the verified rights owner program. So this is something where owners um, of tr intellectual property can police. On eBay, anyone who's basically selling their stuff or you have trademark infringement, here you go. Quote, a trademark is a unique sign such as a name, word, phrase, logo, or symbol that a company uses to identify its products or services. For example, eBay is the name of our company, but it's also a trademark used on our site and on various eBay products. Trademark laws are primarily designed to protect consumers from confusing one company's goods or services with another so i think this is an example where he could absolutely go on ebay and say you know preston you're not supposed to be selling comic skate trademark comic books right now because hey you know ethan's the one who owns the comic skate trademark for comic books it says it right there plus 16 comics 
Preston wanted that, but he doesn't have it. And so he doesn't have a right to go around and sell it, even as he's trying to get this uh, mark canceled. He should probably take these products off the shelf. Um, and, you know, maybe Ethan should uh, go ahead and uh, encourage eBay to do that for him. And since uh, he's already largely in violation of that. Another example was even while um, Preston was getting his trademark applications refused and then suspended, ultimately, he was certifying Comicsgate. He tried to do a certification mark. It was Hero Shack by Christopher Tom. Tamu Levick, uh, sorry if I uh, mispronounced that there, but he was doing this certification mark in addition to the regular application for the mark, and it's illegal under <laughs> trademark law to have both the certification mark and the regular mark. You can't do both, um, and ultimately that resulted in suspensions of Preston's marks, and that, that's unfortunate for Preston, but it was suspended I think with good reason here, and it, there's no reason why he should be allowed to continue, I think, to sell these products, um, with whether it's, you know, via Hero Shack, like, this should be ripped off of Kickstarter, uh, probably, um, because you can't, have, even if it's done being funded or whatever, it, it's totally, that's an infringement right there, that's why you can't have a certification mark, the same mark not registrable as certification mark or any other type of mark, registration is refused because the applicant is using or intends to use the same mark both as a certification mark and as a trademark or service mark for the goods and or services to which the certification mark applies. Trademarks or service marks and certification marks are essentially mutually exclusive. That is, a party may not own a registration for a certification mark and for a trademark or service mark for the goods and services to which the certification mark applies. Moreover, a certification mark registration may be canceled if the registrant quote, engages in production or marketing of any goods or services to which the certification mark is applied, which is exactly what he's doing here. That's exactly what he's doing here. And so that's why he couldn't do it here. And oh, by the way, this was all infringement as of at least July 14, 2020, when the official mark was granted to Antonio Malpica, which Ethan Van Skyver now owns and which he still owns. It is live. That is an active trademark. And there's nothing Preston can do about that right now. But he should probably take down these products. That would be my friendly advice to him. And I also wanted you to listen to Ethan's rationale for pursuing this. Like, what convinced him to protect Comicsgate legally from bad actors like Preston Poulter? Take a listen to this. Anyway, I talked to my wife. I just said, "Is this? why don't we just let it go? Uh, why am I, why do I have to, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to do this? And she just looks at me. And I mean, if my wife had said, you're right, I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to get involved in this. That would have been that. But uh, Andrea looked at me and said, the hell have we been fighting for? She was just like, no, we fought hard. We bled for this. We have bled for this to just have some weirdo piss all over it. No, we're going to, yes, we're going to apply for the trademark. We're going to go for it. And that was great. That's why I love Andrea. That is why I love Andrea. Because again, if she had just been like, you know what? We have bills. Uh, we are trying to start a business here. We're, let's let this go. No, Andrea said, no, what have we been fighting for? What have we What have we been kicked around for for the last three years? What have we suffered for? Uh, what has driven us to our knees in prayer? Uh, what has uh, caused us stress and anxiety? You know, what is this fight all about? We're going to let just somebody take it away from us for fun? To amuse themselves? No, no, no. That's that's what this money's for. We need to we need to fight for this. So uh, that's what we've done. Um, we uh, we have applied. Uh, we've hired an attorney, uh, and we have fought for this. Uh, this isn't something that I'm actively, you know, working on every single day. But we did file uh, for the trademark for Comicsgate, and and we intend to win it. Uh, and when we do win it, and we will, because we have. A much greater claim uh, to it than certainly Preston Poulter does, and probably almost anyone else. Basically, the way they look at it is, who's been using it to make money first, uh, and that would be me. Uh, so uh, accidentally, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to be like, "Hey, uh, I'm going to use Comicsgate to make money." I called my show Comicsgate Live, and I started making money off of my show. 
And then I made things. I made baseball caps. I could make t-shirts. I could make other things too. Uh, I intend to win. I intend to protect the trademark. Uh, I intend to make sure that it isn't uh, uh, used uh, to disrespect you or us. Certainly not me. Certainly not Andrea. Certainly not the people who really feel like they fought hard uh, and suffered. Um, for this thing, which now everyone is talking about uh, and uh, has become the most relevant and important aspect of the comic book industry in 2021, Comicsgate. Everybody knows it. Everybody's talking about it. And so there it is. Ethan intends to fight. He intends to win. Um, and yeah, I think he takes this very personally. Um, and so I think that's an important thing. Uh, you know, for Preston to keep in mind uh, when it comes to the comic skate trademark, Ethan's going to the mat for this, and you've been infringing upon comic skate trademark since at least July 14, 2020. Um, you know, if it were me, I would just ask nicely, "Hey, would you mind taking those, uh, you know, products off of your shelf here? Would you mind, uh, you know, put, putting this, uh, you know, this whole proceeding aside? You're not going to win." Um, but you know, I'm a nice guy (laughs) and, uh, you know, maybe, you know, maybe Ethan wouldn't be as, uh, forgiven as I would be. So, uh, you know, for your sake, maybe you should just kind of let this whole thing drop. Um, and maybe you won't get sued into oblivion. That's the update. This is Robert Romano with comicscape.org. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications and have a good evening.